Delightful. Right. Oh, we got the team. The team's coming in. <laughs> Everyone's coming to watch the majesty of my Fine. newly created guy. <laughs> Flame, Flamehead McGee, that's his name. <laughs> All right, so we're back, and uh, I think we're going to try. I think everything's okay now. Uh, let's see what we're going to do. Chat, I hope everything is good and everything's wonderful for you. Let's do this thing. So, as you can see, Flamehead McGee, my, my wizard. Uh, oh, there's some questions that were in chat while we were sitting there. All right. Uh, a lot of people were curious, uh, like... It, what are the differences? Why would you choose a god like over, uh, like this? This person says, "Wait, does the race for god like not affect anything at all, or do they still get racial speech choices? How uh, does that work?" So, so god like get god like speech choices regardless of what their sub race is. So, if you make uh, an Orlan god like or an Amal god like or a human god like, you're going to get all of the god like. Uh, conversation choices, but the your parent your other parentage doesn't um, doesn't unlock anything. It's uh, the godlike is your primary uh, determiner for that stuff. It's really just because some people wanted to see the physical differentiation gotcha. between the characters that we allowed you to pick on Orlin or or whatever. Okay, so let's go wizard. All right, and hmm, let me see what can we do here. We'll do next. Because he's got that intellect. I'm hoping that pays off with intellect powers. So I have spells, and these are just what I get at the beginning. Yeah, so these are the spells that you start off with. Uh, wizards over time find additional grimoires, and they can find uh, use the grimoires they find to add to their spell collections. Also, as they level up, they get additional spells. And so the four points left means that these are the four points I have to spend on these? Yep. All right, so yeah, I only get four to start with. Yep, you get four spells to start with. All right, well, we need awesome stuff, like... Fan of flames, because I'm an awesome badass of fire. And let's do ghost blades, because, you know, they're ghost blades. <laughs> Spirit shield, that's good. I'd recommend Minolata's Minor Missiles. Yeah. You just like it for the alliteration. Yes. Well, it's, it's our magic missile replacement, so. That works. Cool. Next. All right. Uh, yeah, we need the intellect. So intellect is very good for area of effect stuff, and you have because you have um, because you have fan of flames and ghost blades. Uh, that's very useful because intellect will increase the area of effect of all of your attacks. Cool. Uh, perception will make your attacks more accurate, more likely to hit, uh, and then resolve increases the duration of your effects. You don't really right now have spells that have uh, duration. Most of them are uh, individual attack spells. Spirit Shield is the only Get out of it. So I can just well, zero no, resolve. I don't think you want to do that because uh, uh. that means your Spirit Shield will run out very quickly and also your Arcane Veil. I'm just going to cast it on, on friends. Oh. I'm not going to use it on me. Well, spirit Shield is personal. personal oh, is it? Yep. Oh, well, <laughs> then screw my friends. Might is a good one to increase because that will increase your damage. Hmm. And this is Endurance and Health. And that's, that's Action Speed is Dexterity. So we actually did try to design the system so that you could build a lot of different characters. Um, instead of just saying, like, well, wizards, you always want to max out intellect and dump everything else, mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot more possible builds for you, uh, depending on how you want to build your characters. So. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm trying to go through. Are you recording this at the same time? For future posterity. I don't know, are we? I you look, maybe. Maybe. Let's <laughs> go next. Alright. Yep, that seems that seems accurate. The old 16, 10, 11, 15, 15, 11. <laughs> Alright, so how does the call Ooh, it changes my outfit. Yeah, so the culture will give you uh, another slight bump to one of your attributes, and it changes your starting gear. It doesn't mean that you're limited to using that gear, it just means it changes what you start with. Polar ice. Oh, well, obviously I want to go to the polar ice place. Because <laughs> people are going to be like, look at him. That man is so special. He is on fire. So you get plus one dex from that, and you start with hide armor. And, uh, yeah, well, that breastplate's pretty nice, too, though. But, yeah, but look at this. That guy's pretty wild. Look at him. He looks, Look at him. He's got, like, a burnout. He could light his torch with his own head. It's interesting you should say that, because later on we'll be doing something very similar to that. Lighting a torch with my own head? Yes. This game already top three games ever made. <laughs> All right. So. Hmm. So this is slightly 
for role playing stuff, but it also does have a slight effect on the skills that you uh, start with. Okay. So depending on the background that you have before you sort of started the game, uh, it gives you little bonuses to one or two skills. Yeah, I never quite fit in in my ice culture with my firehead. That makes sense. They always <laughs> made fun of me. That's fine. Oh boy. Hmm. Yeah, so that will actually tint your... Uh, the primary and secondary colors are used for your clothing. So over the course of the game, as you get different outfits, those tintable sections will always be those colors. It just kind of helps distinguish your character on the battlefield. Except secondary. Except... Oh, he's so bright. Nice. Done. That just happened. And you can choose different head styles. So, so I can't change his skin and hair. No. Whoa! Yeah, you can get wild. <laughs> He's on fire! I like that first guy. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's a Classic. Movie. Yeah, alright. Oh, this is... <laughs> that doesn't look like him. That's He's true. too happy. Pe people can also... Because uh, a lot of people ask about this. People can also drop their, um, their own pictures into the portrait directory, and they'll show up in the, uh, in the game. So if people want to use their own pictures, paintings, stuff like that, their favorite fantasy art, they can drop them in and use those as, as pictures as well. Very cool. So this is temp, temp voice set right now, but male and female, that's all we got. Can we hear it yet? Or? Uh, I think you will hear it in the game, but uh, yeah. Right now we're, we're still waiting to get the VO stuff back. So this would be like, I'm a badass! This would be like, I am also equally as bad. Yes. Something awesome. Like Great. Male Wizard 1. Done. Pretty creative name. Name... Uh, Flame Head Johnson. Nice. Done. Except Flame Head is the name his parents gave him. That's kind of mean. Well, I imagine the birth was kind of mean. So yes, it is. Mom was just like, you know yes. what, Flame Head, get out of <laughs> here. Yeah, there's actually a lot with God. Like, there's a lot of uh, resentment from the parents because they tend to. <laughs> Cause a lot of problems, both during birth and then childhood is very difficult for them as well. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Flamehead Johnson. The caravan master finishes addressing the group, his bushy red mustache and sagging jowls quivering <laughs> as if for emphasis. What kind of a voice are you going for there? Is there somewhere you're trying to emulate? Um, the voice of the, the, the game. Okay. The game's okay. voice. So it's not, okay. It, it, look, it might be every voice you get. <laughs> it might be every voice you get. Right now, like, Everybody stay close to the wagons, got to stay out of the woods. The beast take care of you plowing a stroll through the roads up there. He nods towards a looming black mass on the hillside. It's a good transition. I try. Okay. <laughs> Holy hell, it's crawling with hot dogs, time, so it's been an apple stick and accident for trespassing. It's kind of Harry Carey now. <laughs> <laughs> Big Cubs fan. If you were hoping for one singular <laughs> voice, you have come to the wrong source, my friend. Somebody is all track mud. All right. So, yeah, so the deal is you, you have to camp by these ruins because the caravan was stopped for the evening. Mm -hmm. uh, but these ruins are really dangerous because the locals regard them as sacred. And they believe that people who come into these areas are going to try to loot them. So the caravan master is really worried, like, guys, be careful. We need to watch out for the locals. Do not go towards the ruins. Gotcha. Just stay here and chill out. Got any cues? Got any cues on the stream? Yeah, are there any cues? We have A's. There's a berry. Yeah, because remember... Small and pink. Call a spring berry. So we need to get that. Is that our, our main quest? Yeah. Big question. Multiplayer? Yes or no? No. No multiplayer. Just purely single player focused. Hmm. Where would I find these berries? They grow on a bush, dummy. Okay, jeez. What about the ruins? Hmm. Yeah, ruins are bad. Don't go into them. Who did build the ruins? Hmm. Yeah, every different name is for them. So call them the Angwithams. Jonathan Angwithan? Of the Minstershire Angwithan? <laughs> is it dangerous out here? Not if you're in a hurry. Okay. What kind of weather do we get here? Rain, mostly, and wind. Great. Well, fire guys should be real cool with that. Or the huge rocks. OK. 
Okay, so just avoid everything like the plague. Yeah. All right, I'll go find berries then. Hold on, take someone with you. Jeez. Oh, Kaliska. Where are you at? He needs someone to help find berries. I could use some help finding berries. Well, you are sick, so. Sick of being lonely, yeah. Kaliska. Mm. That's good. Call me. <laughs> All right. Don't listen to her. You're in good hands, buddy. All right. End dialogue. The adventure continues. So yeah, you can poke around the camp uh, campsite. There are like little things that you can explore and find in the camp. Uh, you don't have to immediately move. Like this thing that I need lockpicking for? Yes. Do I need lock picking or can I just bust it? Uh, you either need lock picking or you need a decent lock picking and some lock picks, and you don't have either right now. What good is Kaliska? Get on it, girl. She's a fighter. She's uh, there to well, fight, beat, fight it, fight it open. Beat faces in. Uh oh. A is attack. Apparently, yes. I don't want to do that. Much like, much like in olden times. Hmm. You sir, do you have any? He does have things. He does have supplies. Can I kill him and take his supplies? Oh, uh, you could. That would arrange the entire camp. You can do it, though. You actually can if you want to just take on the entire camp. Uh, I would not recommend that, but you can do it. Can like, we talk to this guy again? No, he's like, get out of here. Get out of Dodge. All right, so down at the bottom we have cancel. We can select everyone, I assume. Yep. Uh, this is our inventory. Yeah. Character, journal, there's the options. Stronghold. Stronghold? What's that? Why don't you click it and find out? Oh! You, you're a giant tease, is what you are, <laughs> sir. <laughs> map. So can I click the world map? Is yeah. going to break anything? No. What? Where are we at right now? You're up in the upper left corner. Oh. You're at Salant, Salant Lease. Very cool. We must get to the Gilded Vale. Yep, that is your goal. That's where the caravan's supposed to be heading. All right. Well, is the do I need? Can I go explore? Yeah, you can explore. Even though it said don't specifically, don't go explore. Well, it said don't go in the ruins. Well, these look like ruins. Yeah. This is this the way we came from? <laughs> That's the way you were gone. So that tree fell. So. Uh, can I go this way? Yeah. Who is this dude? The, uh, Who are you, sir? Don't mind a demo. I'm just a guy. Got some horses. horses. Oh! That was some... Uh, actually, if you can scroll down the log. Log. I got some... Orland's Cradle. Cradle. Added to my stash. Yep. So Orland's Cradle is a mushroom that grows in this part, and it is an ingredient that you can use in crafting. Nice. Yep. So you find a lot of little... Uh, little herbs and things like that uh, throughout the game, uh, especially in wilderness environments, but also sometimes in caves and things like that you'll find them. Yeah, speaking of caves, I know we're supposed to find berries, but I feel like well, caves you can, you can wander around could be the around. right place to go. To find berries? To find berries. You I've, never know. I've personally never found berries in a cave. Have you? How many caves have you been in? I guess not a ton. There you go. There you go. I'll have your water soon enough. <gasps> <laughs> going anywhere. I got I got so excited I heard a voice I <laughs> nearly choked. Yeah, that's powerful. He's supposed to be getting water to help you out, but he's kind of late. He's doing nothing of the sort. Yeah. Hmm. Go down here. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Oh, dear, he doesn't want to hang out with you. I just want to kill him. Oh, Whoa. Come on. Hmm. Body's still warm, dark, sticky blood is all around the dude. What is this? Uh-oh. Uh, take all. He's yeah. dead. He's not going to need it. And that's, that's that person. Can we get something from this guy? No. Oh. What are what are you? Are you uh, like a... Just a weird little creature. Weird. You're really fixated on that corpse. I want to get that weird little creature. <laughs> Who is that? By the way, Tab can highlight containers and stuff like that. Golly. There you go. All right. Just for future reference. 
That's you know what? The reference is good. Are you are you down here? Anything special? No. Just uh, just just, whatever. just adventure. Just dead people. Just dead people and adventure. Can I cross this river? Like walk across it? Uh, you can't. It's uh, not shallow. Some some rivers are shallow. Enough. I was gonna say, are you gonna Oregon Trail me and get me killed as I? No. Well, you have dysentery. I think that's what I have now. <laughs> the mission to stop dysentery. I, the world's beautiful, even though it's dark. Well, it is nighttime. <laughs> so realistic, it's night. <laughs> Let's check for those outcroppings. These outcroppings? For this? That's some burned lady. That's another mushroom that grows around here. Nice. I'm getting all the shrooms. Yeah. Don't eat them. You're already sick, guy. Oh! Whoa! 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 Remember your infinity Whoa. training. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It caught me off guard. Yeah. So it's a real time with pause system. You can press space at any time to pause. Okay. Uh, so you're a wizard. Like D and D, uh, you have very limited uses of your individual spells. Okay. So generally, only use them if you really feel you need to, because you only get them back by resting. Um, you do, however, have a defensive ability you can use uh, several times before you it goes away, which is uh, Arcane Veil. Since these wolves are on you right away, uh, it might be a good time to use your Arcane Veil. So click on your character. All right. Now you can see that little orb. Classic wizard orb this down here. Thing. Well, you have that. Those are your spells. Mm -hmm. And you also Welcome have that orb, which is your arcane veil. This right here? Yep. And okay. you can click on that. So now that is queued to go off, and you can click on Kalisha. Oh, is that her name? Yep, Kalisha. I did not pronounce her name. You should have corrected okay. me. That's okay. Well, no, but it's... You should have corrected... Silica is what I think I called her. I don't know what I called <laughs> her. You called her Kaliska. Close, close enough. Yep. She has a knockdown ability. She can use twice a fight. Can she try to talk to them? Uh, no, that's me talking talk to, to her. her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> try to talk to the wolves. It's not going to work very well. But All right. You can try and knock down, down the wolf. Yeah. And then hit space to. Damn. Wrecked. All right. Whoa. That's yeah. That wolf is gone. Did so you yeah, you can one down try too? that too. Oh, that one resisted it. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Oh, by the way, be very careful when you when you move away from creatures that are engaging you in melee because they'll get something called a disengagement attack against you. Mm, whenever because you see your those, back's turned to them? Well, it's because you're moving away from someone that's fighting you. So whenever you see that sort of uh, the arrows going back and forth, that represents engagement. Gotcha. So if you see an arrow going to your character, that means if you move away, you'll get attacked. Hmm, is there something down there? Or is that just lighting? No, that's just lighting. Beautiful, beautiful lighting. All right. So... Who wants to see a carcass? What you doing over here, buddy? And you can mark you select, so. Well, that is... Some spring berries. Yay! Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So Kalisha will respond to the uh, background choices that you make. So since you selected that you I'm were a drifter, drifter gotcha. and she asks you about... Like, what's, the, what's up with that? Um, and these things sort of define your background in the game, which is mostly just for s sort of role-playing. Mm -hmm. We wanted people to be able to define where their character came from and what they were doing before they came So if, if, I, uh, this, if I'm a drifter and the choices I make here, does that affect things later in the game? Um, it doesn't have a huge effect on it. It's mostly just for you to sort of, like, define your character uh, cool. just in, okay. in your head, sort of. But, uh, yeah. Oh, see, like that sort of... Uh, so I could have been orphan. Yeah. And it, do, it does respond, like, your drifter background specifically, people do respond when to When people that. are looking yeah. for you. Oh, boy. Lives of fools. Yeah, I'm I an could, asshole. Yeah, I could just be a <laughs> total... No, that's not nice who Flame... Meet Flamehead Johnson's not that guy. He's going to have people looking for him. Actually, no. He's, he's, he's that dude who's like... He's every protagonist... In an old school RPG, it's just like dot dot dot. Sure. It's by the way, these. by the way, that is a uh, a type of character you can play in the game. It's called stoic. So there are a lot of times where you have the option to say nothing or just shrug or nod your head, and that actually builds up a reputation for you being this guy who just doesn't say anything to people. Nice. I like so that. If you want to be that that character, you can do that. Yes, it's none of your business. Suit yourself. All right. Lord Raedric's offer makes a girl think. 
I'll give him that. Are you here to settle like the rest of the lot? His voices are getting better and better. I try. I try. <laughs> <laughs> um, It's a hard offer to pass up. Got some big plan in store? Get no, no, I have no idea. <laughs> You're a drifter. Yeah. Completely spontaneous. Spontaneous? That's the word I just made up. <laughs> spontaneous. Huh? Interesting. She's interested in me now, guys. Note to viewers at home. <laughs> don't say a lot and then say, I don't know, whatever. And then you will get all the ladies. Proven fact, right now. Mm. I, you know what? Oh yeah. Tell me, why are you? Why are you? Yeah. Oh, wait. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. I've got simple needs, like open skies and far horizons. We are. This is like. Yeah, she's also a, a match made in heaven. It's good if you're in the caravan. Why are you here? My sister moved out here. She sent me a letter. She seemed worried. Oh, she's got problems. I don't. I'd rather not get involved with your life, ma'am. Haven't seen her in ages. R this right there? Ixamital? Ixamital. Close enough. Yeah. I prefer Ixamital? Question sure. mark? Sure. It's up to you. <laughs> no. No, it's not. <laughs> Don't say that. Mm hmm. I'm not much for history. But, you know, part of the Empire broke off. We're good. All right, let's go back to camp. You know, would hold my breath that Sparkle's getting you water anytime soon. He does as he feels. All right, that's fine. I do as I feel too. Yeah, Sparkle was that guy who was smoking by the tree. Let's go this way. What's this way? Oh, you already went that way. Did we? Look, you gotta double check. I don't. Well, and you can you can use your handy map to see where you've already uh, explored. That's it's very good. Map was what M. M? Yeah. Oh, there's a road up there, and there's stuff over here. Mm-hmm. Do we want to go back right away? Oh, you need the water, so. What if I want to cross the bridge? You can cross the bridge. Although there's water right there. Sparkle had the water skin. There's so a Sparkle's back. gone. Mm-hmm. As you rise, you notice her look up towards the tree line. What's at the tree line? Oh, there he is, Sparful. One of the guys, barely discernible in the dim moonlight. He no longer carries his bow, and there is strangeness to his gait. A spastic wobble in his ordinarily deft strides. He's got labored breath, too. Sparful, are you all right? Nope, that dude got nope, shot. Very not good. He is dead in the back. What is the... <laughs> like, oh, we're both like, eh, what an idiot. No one cares. Oh, no. Who are you? What? It was a trap. It was a trap. Admiral Akbar, where were you? Nowhere to be seen. Remember, you're being engaged right now, so don't... If you move away, you will be attacked. All right. Let's... You know what? You can use a spell. Yeah, let's use a spell on this guy I'm facing. Hmm. Can I uh, target a circle? All right, done. And then Kalisha. Yeah, what are we gonna do with you, my dear? You are going Never to knock someone down. Knock this guy down. Mm -hmm. And go. That does it. Go team. Oh. Oh. Uh, hold on, I believe, I believe, I believe in me. I believe on in me. Boss. I believe in the well, power. Okay. You might want to use uh, either spirit shield or your uh, arcane veil. Uh, let's use Spirit Shield. Alright. Alright, and then, uh, you... You're knocking him down, right? Still? We're good? Mm-hmm. Go! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Spirit, Spirit! Yeah, you click... No, you, uh, you click to attack. No, that's not what I wanted! I wanted to live! <laughs> okay. Just so you know, so when that red goes all the way to the bottom, you'll get knocked out, but it doesn't mean you're dead. It just means that you're on the fight. Uh-oh. Where's she gone? What? Baby girl! Baby girl, where are you going? Oh, Lord, he's dead! Oh, no. Fight. Fight for what's right. Get him. I believe in you. That man is on fire! 
He's continually on fire! That's enough out of you. What can we do to him? Anything? Well, Just keep attacking? Yep. He should be knocked out. How is he knocked out but not knocked out? The dude is he's so strong. He doesn't yeah, care. Don't, don't walk away from him. <laughs> he doesn't care about your rules. There we go. There you go. Come on, we have to get back to camp. So, All right. So you'll notice now, so the bar on the left of your portrait, that is health. That's mm -hmm. long-term damage. That, there, you have a lot more health than you have stamina. So you get knocked out in a fight. It's not necessarily a huge, horrible deal. Um, but, uh, yeah, there you go. I, I feel like... I feel like I learned valuable lessons here today. <laughs> Don't be a dummy and run in like an idiot. You'll get yourself beat up and killed. Well, here's another thing that you can do if you want to. If you want to go to, uh, actually click on the little formation button down below. Uh-oh. Yeah? Uh, no, the, the, um, the dot. This one? Yep. And then click on the line. Oh. And now Kalisha, actually, um, also you can drag your main character's portrait behind Kalisha's. Like that. Yep. And now she will, oh. she will actually be in front when you move. I like it. I that, like that, it. I like it. That helps a lot if um, you have people just running up and trying to smash. Yeah, it does. The footprints around the campfire look fresh. The pickings of a something that something. Okay. Um. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a special beer. It was beer. Guys, yeah, this is beer. I mean, beer is special. Are you saying beer is not special? How many beers can I get? Is that, yeah, can I get more beer? No. Can I drink that beer right now? Yeah. Go into your inventory. Drink the beer. Do it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, put it in your uh, quick item. In my quick item slot? Or, or anybody, uh, either's. Okay. Whoever you want to drink it. Mm -hmm. Now uh, exit. Now uh, click your dude. Click my dude. Dude is clicked. Drink, oh, drink that beer. Wait, hold on. I want to drink it with you. So what does that do to him? Does it so uh, hover over the icon. So you have an increased damage threshold, plus one to your damage threshold for the next uh, 300 seconds. The power of alcohol. Yeah. Uh oh. Why can't you get to the? There we go. Yeah. There you go. That's some more some more shrooms. All the shrooms. All right, team. Let's go this way. We'll go through. Uh, oh, no. I thought that was an archway to go through. It was not. It was a window. Turns out that is not something my guy likes to do. What? Oh, no. They're all dead. Look, lady, they're all dead. We should just go. <laughs> we should just go. I didn't like those people anyway. Hey, you got to go back to camp. You're on the, the other way, though. Uh, yeah, but you know what? That's... That's their problem. Your guy is out front. He's more vulnerable. I'd stop. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! All this... Admiral <laughs> Akbar, where are you? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, um... Oh, my goodness. Let's do this. Yep, use your arcane veil. So, just... Like, if I click it, we're good? Yep. Okay.